lovers. I hope you're having an awesome day. Continue to be you. Continue to make yourself happy. And forever and always, uh, of course, forever and always, put yourself first. Yes, y'all. By that being said, I am starting my first official podcast episode. Ah! Round of applause. Round of applause. Super excited, been wanting to do this because I love talking to people and I love just like, you know, saying what I feel. And I'm not sharing it with y'all, so let's get into it, okay? Today's topic is mental health. <laughs> Today's topic is about mental health. And I want to touch base on this topic because I know uh, for me, I, I go through mental health, um, and it's it's really a challenge. So, let's just get straight into it before I just start talking because I'm ready to get out the way. So, let's do it. My, My first, first que question is, what is mental health? Let me say that again. What is mental health? Mental health for me is a mental battle. A challenge that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis or an experience with dealing with people places things and ideas and it could be a win-win or a lose-lose situation when dealing with mental health right yeah shit is real and it's okay it's okay and I'm gonna let you know how it's okay because I'm going on to question number two. Question number two is, why is mental health a number one killer in today's society? To me, I think, um, I know, it's the number one killer in today's society because people really lose their minds. And when your mind is lost, it's a hard, hard place to come come back. It's a hard place to come back to and um, you know, it's, can nobody really get you out that space but you literally. Nothing people can say or do can really get you out that space but you. And um, it's just really choosing if you want to continue to fight or you really want to just give up the fight and it kills people because a lot of people give up. And um, it's really tough, but it's okay because you can get through it. Everybody can get through it. So for the ones who have lost their life due to mental health, um, just take a moment of silence for that. Let's take a moment of silence for that because that's a real situation and that's a real situation and let's just take a moment of silence for that. So. Yeah, it's, it's a mental illness, so, you know, you can just get well from it, for sure, for sure. But next question, number three, three, how can you heal from mental health? Uh, just for me, taking acknowledgement, taking action, knowing what the situation is, knowing what you're going through, and being okay with going through it and getting through it. You can continue to go through it and not get through it. But the, the moment you go through it and get through it by knowing the problem and finding the solution, that's how you can heal from it. And being honest with yourself, being real with yourself, you can also heal from it as well. Um, I think mental health is, healing from mental health is, a huge 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 accomplishment because it's not a normal thing that should be normal that people don't really do on a daily but the people who do do it shout out to you and shout out to me because I'm one of them Woo! <laughs> but you definitely can heal from it and just by taking taking a breather even if it's taking time to yourself taking some a long time like taking a breakthrough, crying, uh, 
talking to a loved one that you felt like you really need to talk to. Uh, just really, it's a within battle. And once you just continue to withhold the battle and kind of don't let it withhold you, you're healing from it every day, every single day. And that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's, good job, good job, good job. And this is how you heal from here to health. Um, and it's a continuously healing journey. And it gets lighter, it gets easier, it gets enjoyable, it gets like a wow factor. Like, dang, I was like really like this mentally, and now I'm like this. Ah, who fucking with me? You're, you know, like you get you get that feeling, and it's, it's it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So, yes, you definitely can heal from mental health. Question number four. Four, four. Uh, uh. I don't know why four used to be my lucky number. When that was eight. With four, eight, same thing. But all right. How do you know you're having a mental breakdown? Wow. Um. I'm gonna say this question again. How do you know you're having a mental breakdown? And. For me, I can say, um, you are over the place. You mad, you, you kinda, you experiencing like a lot of just backlash in any different way. Um, um, you're crying out for help, but not really crying out for help. You, you, you're not asking for the help. But you're crying out and you like hurting people around you, like doing, just doing things that's out your norm or things that you just like, oh, well, I got to get my shit together. And you like questioning what's going on and you don't know what's going on. It's mind fucked all the way around. And you, you show it. You show it on your face. You show it on your skin. You show it on your behavior, you show it in the way you talk to people, the way you act, and you just be like, wow, like, chill, go here. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, and it's possible, it's always possible to. If that's a problem, that that's a solution. It's always a problem, but what this, the solution is to go get help. And if you, if you don't wanna go get help from another person, go get help for yourself. If that's taking the time out to go for a breather, go for a walk, cry, write it down, tear it up, shout. But don't do things that you will regret in the long run. And I feel like when having a mental breakdown, 50 out of 100 people do things that they will regret in the long run. And they have to live through that for the rest of their lives. So before you just completely go black or go red, really 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 come to your senses and acknowledge those actions and just fucking walk away literally just walk away because a lot of breakdowns come come and they don't they don't stop unless it's, it's just the end of either you or that person or that thing or that place or that idea if you just feeling the way you feeling out of place you feeling like you'll know where to go to that's mental it all it starts here that's a mental thing so it's always okay that you're going through that accept that and work on it and to work on it is to step by step and tell yourself like look i fucked up but the only reason i can get unfucked up is really 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 focus on me relax my mind cry you know what I'm saying? Go for a walk, go for a run. Anything that can keep, that's, that's really ease your soul, your mind, and your body. Okay? Next question. I hope y'all enjoying these. I hope this is my first video. I'm excited and I know that it's going to get better and bigger and beautiful along mm -hmm. this first journey that I'm starting my podcast. So, bear with me. And don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel. 
I am planning on staying on YouTube full time and really building my channel in everything that I do. And this is another um, era of my channel that I'm opening up and sharing with you guys. So keep flowering. <laughs> And by the end of this video, I'm going to tell you my podcast name. Because it took me a minute to come up with it. And I really was thinking about it last night. Like, before I went to sleep, I was like, I need a name, I need a name, I need a name. And I was like, why not stick to what I know? And what I go by? And what's my name? Which is Flower. But hold that thought. I'm going to tell y'all at the end of this video. Alright? So, question number five. Question number five, y'all, is what are the pros and cons of mental health? All right. I'm going to answer it now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to start with the, let's start with the, let's start with the pros. The pros, Aww. some pros that I do have for mental health is um, it's a challenge and challenges can be good because you get through them you know you succeed like you really succeed you really evolve you really learn more about yourself about your environment about anything another pro is um, once you feel like you became um, mental more mental control you can help the next person. It's good to share your testimonies with mental health and how um, it can be impactful for the next person and how you overcame it. Uh, yeah, I think that's a really good pro. Another pro is, because these coming out straight out the dome, like, uh, give it to me. Yeah, I got it. So, yeah, another pro is, um, it's heartwarming. Um, dealing with your mental health is heartwarming. You kind of express a different way that you never express yourself. Um, you never express yourself with anyone or just a, a self thing. Like, it's heartwarming. You feel good. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like, a, huh. you may got this, but I got this. You may got that, but I got this. And a lot of people don't have this. So, that's a flex. That's really a big flex. So, the cons, y'all. So, the cons are um, dealing with mental health is you can't lose your life. Um, you can lose the battle of dealing with it and um, just kind of hurt anything and everything around you. You can lose friends and family. Um, um, you can go on a deep, like, deep, deep, deep uh, lost soul moment. And if you saw the movie Soul, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can go on a deep depression, anxiety, uh, just all around, like a lot of bad shit. And just think about all the bad shit that mental health can do to you. So, yeah. And those are the cons. Those are definitely the cons to mental health. Alright. So. Next question. <laughs> I really feel like I feel like I make this short and sweet. But I'm making it make sense. So I'm hoping y'all def definitely can understand me. And like I said, I'm new to this. And um, I'm new to sharing it with y'all. I always express how I feel mentally, physically, and emotionally, so baby. <laughs> this ain't nothing but uh just expressing with my flower friends. So yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Look at me like I'm on a talk show. Got my leg. Uh, got my little one-two cards. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. No money on my clothes. Alright. Question number six. Six. Alright. How 
how to break how to how to break free from mental battles and be in control. And I feel like this is a really good question because I said every I said, the first question was like, uh, what you going through? What is it? The problem? But here's the solution, baby. <laughs> Here's the solution for you, for you, 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 me, too. All right. The solution is to this: how to break free from mental battles and be in control. Um, like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying, it, it's about acknowledging. It's about accepting. It's about understanding. And let it flow through you. And being comfortable with talking about it, growing from it, healing from it, crying about it, you know, anything that just, anything that gets you through it and you feel the weight off your shoulders, you feel the you feel good in your skin. You feel good in your life. No matter what you don't have. Because what you do have is control. And what a lot of people go through in today's society is out of controlness. And that's okay to admit. And we do have people who go through in self-control and in control. And when you just can't like still live beautifully and you don't have to be perfect mental health is nothing about being perfect because the richest man literally can be mindless and that is real the famous person can be mindless the influencer tiktoker youtuber can be mindless you know what i'm saying so when you do have a mind a mental, uh, uh, a sense of care, a sense of love, a sense of treat people how you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? You, you can, you, we can relate, baby. We can relate. We here. And um, the beauty of it is just really living through it, not letting nothing you go through mentally break you, but let it make you. And that's how you can always stay, stay in control with that thing. And I feel like that's what we come on. That, that's a part of the main reason we come onto this beautiful earth, this beautiful universe, to really go through these challenges mentally, physically, and emotionally, and really overcome the challenges. Really um, accept who the fuck we are, where we came from, where we started it, where we going. Really accept that and embrace it it's okay it's really okay and i want you to know that because i always have to tell myself it's okay not just it's okay to not not know the problem no it's okay to understand what i have went through and grow from it literally i'm a living testimony for anything that will come out my mouth on my podcast or things I just really want to know about, or I just want to like, you know, put it in the air, you know, get some insight on it. So, um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful being in control. And when you have that, when you are in control and, um, and break, and when you are in control and break free with dealing with your mental health, everything aligns with you. Everything aligns with you, with it, with you wanting a job, with you wanting a new set of friends, with you wanting to work on your body, when you, with you wanting to look at yourself in the mirror and accept who you are as a person is the most amazing thing that any flower can go through. Like li literally, it's the most amazing thing. I see them tulips over here. You're not sure, but you see these over here. But it's the most amazing thing that you can go through and really heal from it and, and, and break free and break free like and it's beautiful yes. but y'all um i'm excited for my next topic i will be dropping in my next video this was strictly about mental health knowing what it is 
knowing what you go through, knowing how to get through it, and knowing how to break free and be in control of your mental health because the, starting with your mind, body, and soul is all the keys to success, is the keys to becoming who you truly want to be and will be and who you are now is the keys of a lot of opportunities that can open it and, and align themselves for you with you and just all around it's, it's dope it's really dope and um it's beautiful to experience the bad because if you can experience the bad and go through the bad the good stands perfectly strong for you you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I think that's the most, that's the best way you can really put that. Like, <laughs> you go through so much bad, it's always gonna be a light at the end of that tunnel. And not a light for you to go six feet up in the sky floating and shit, but a light for you to still be this vessel and, and live through your testimonies, through what you've been through, through any and everything that try to come your way because baby it's about a fight and the law the more you continue to fight and i'm not saying physically fight but mentally fight you will always win no matter what okay okay and i'm hoping that this video really do this did some justice for everybody i feel like it did some justice for me i cannot wait to edit this video and see uh you know, just hear me. Hear me out. I love to hear myself out before anybody else to hear me out. Um, like I said, I would not be on my platform saying anything that I haven't went through or going through or getting through. It will always be about a testimony that I've experienced in my life and I don't mind sharing with y'all. Or like I said, um, just open-minded to other people's opinions and I'm sharing my opinions with y'all about different topics outside of me. And it's gonna be rare that I'm gonna probably be sharing those, but I don't mind like other, you know, talk talk about other shit. Cause I'm gonna say what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? And that's how comfortable I want my podcast to be for me and for you. That if y'all do have topics that y'all want me to talk about, drop them in the comments. I am definitely going to talk about them. I will not mind. I would love to talk about them. Keep them, keep them nice. Keep them comfortable. Keep them beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't come at me with all that. Wah, 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 wah. Cause you will not, I will not be answering your, uh, that topic on my platform. I want it to be nothing but heartwarming, loving, caring, and just really um, knowing that you're not alone in this. I'm not alone in this. And I just feel great that I'm sharing my opinion on mental health with y'all. So, ah, I'm excited. Look at me, I got my toes up. Y'all ain't seen But I'm, so, I'm really excited that I've shared these Six questions with y'all. There will be more, and yeah. Like I said, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to your girl Flower. Ah, ah, ah. And the title, the title, the title, the title, the title, the title for this podcast is, and my other podcast that's coming. Because the title and topic is two different things. So the title for my complete podcast is Blossoming and Blooming from the Roots with Flower. <laughs> ah, that's cute. I just, that is cute. That is fire. Y'all, I had this whole thing of tea over here. It ain't taking out one sip, but baby, I'm from a different drink just now. That was lovely. Too lovely. I love that for me. Whew. But y'all like my title? Isn't it Kurt? Isn't it Kurt? Isn't it Kurt? <laughs> I love that for me too. Mm. But yeah, that's the title. And I'm gonna stick to it because I feel like why not do something that start that just flows with my name being Flower. And I just thought that was so perfect. So I'm gonna say it again. My title is 
blossoming and blooming from the root with flower. <laughs> I, I just love that. I just love that, y'all. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm probably gonna get that tatted. I think I'm gonna get that tatted. What y'all think? Should I get that tatted? I don't know, but y'all, your girl flower is out.